Hey guys, G here. Welcome to Poor Man's Carry. Today we're going to be looking at the Mossberg MC2C. Before we begin, let's do a safety check. No rounds in the magazine. No rounds in the chamber. Okay. This is my personal dedicated CCW. I love this weapon. This thing disappears in my waistband and virtually no printing at all. At the time, I bought this uh, June of 2022. And then later on, I bought my Glock. And between the two, I was going back and forth to see which one I I prefer to carry the most. You know, prefer to carry. And um, I just ended up going to this more and more. Nothing wrong with the Glock. Um, you know, af after I souped up my Glock and put a magwell and all that, it did print significantly more. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I take out the Glock once in a while. But anyways, let's get back to this. 3.9 inch barrel, serrated, uh, got some serrations on the slide here, you know, it does come with iron, uh, steel irons, which would be those right there, they're steel, alright, and uh, yeah, uh, flat trigger, polymer flat trigger, I love it, if anybody makes a aluminum trigger for this, let me know in the comment section, if anybody even <laughs> sees this video since I'm new. But you got narrow, narrow grip, some stippling. We'll go to, right, I'm going to comment about the stipple later. You know, a flush fit. This is their 14 round flush fit magazine. So I'm walking around with 15 on top. Compared to the original one, the original magazine, because this is like considered their Gen 1 model. The non-optic version. This came with um, 13 rounds initially. So you're walking around 14 on tap. And their second magazine that comes in a box. Comes with a 15 round um, extending bag. Right? If you can see that. Okay. The If you go to the Mossberg website. website you can order their 16 round extended mag. Which is I think is like 35 Thirty-one dollars or thirty-five dollars, something like that. I got, I gotta go back and look. And uh, this one is their. Oh well, no, that's the thirteen. And this one is their um, fourteen, right? Cheap mags, inexpensive gun. I mean, this I bought this at four twenty. Um, you could probably find them around three fifty street price. I mean, you can't go wrong with this thing. Like it gives you a lot of good features for for what it is. It bridges the cap the gap between a subcompact and a compact. You know, the Glock you walk around with 16, and now I'm walking around with 15. I'm happy. I I, I love it. Um, 3.9 inch barrel, a very deep. There's a deep arch in the beaver tail, so you're not gonna worry about slide bite at all. I am. I got really weird uh, hands. I got like a ogre slash. Mm, goblin type hands like short fingers large palms deep arches and for me i love the glock grip i prefer the glock grip over this i'm not i don't like narrow guns but this i i i, it, I can make exception for this you know i'm good with this when you go narrower on the grip on any firearm you you want more of a, a aggressive stippling this is where i believe mosberg dropped the ball the stipple job they should have just gave it to us all up, all the way along the side panels, and all the way around. Uh, the ribs are nice. The ribs are okay. I like the ribs. But overall, Mosberg, please. <laughs> Next time you do your third gen, give us a complete stipple job, right? Okay. Got, uh, you know, finger pads. Stipple finger pads so you can do a nice thumbs forward grip, you know. Um... Oh, the night sights. What I did replace well before I ever bought night sights for this, I did painted those out. So that's why you see a goofy uh, pattern on the on my little paint job there, right? But knife fishing makes 
a dedicated night sight for this. So if you go to Night Vision, they're like 108 bucks. They'll have the uh, the Myersburg MC2C, uh, you know, perfect dots, right? And um, I would recommend that you go to a gunsmith to put these in because the tolerances on this is so tight that my gunsmith told me he had to break out his one thousand dollar sight tool just to push this in. It was difficult. He took it took him a while to put it in, but he did, and uh, I put I made him do that twice because I did had a different a different um, night sights on there that just never panned out. I didn't like them. So I would recommend don't do it yourself. Trust me, you're gonna be cursing up a storm. You're gonna ruin your day. Take them to a gunsmith. Now, obviously, something that I'm gonna point out, you probably already noticed, the TL, the Streamlight TLR 7A. This is my favorite subcompact light. This is this was initially on my Glock, and one day I was screwing around, comparing both. Um, the my Mossberg to the Glock as far as size, with all that, and it's dimensionally is the same, same length, close to the same height, a little bit shorter, um, because of the flush it, the flush fit mags. But then I'm like, okay, this thing got a Picatinny rail mount. What light can go on this thing? So I took the stream light off my Glock and I put it on here, and it takes a um. 1913 Picatinny uh, number two plate. This is their number two plate currently. Where, if you notice, it's kind of past the trigger guard a bit. Doesn't bother me. I can still get my finger in there. Um, there is a fix around that. You can either get the the Streamlight short switch, and that will solve that issue. If you want to maintain a flush fit on your light to a uh, muzzle. Um, and uh, get yourself a little bit more room right there in the mag, uh, I'm sorry, in the trigger guard. So the secondary I would be, let's put this down. You can always go up a size on your um, on your plate or your adapter plate. So this will be the number three. When you put the number three on, it will, it will extend the stream light a little bit past the muzzle, but it'll give you the room you need. Now, there will be a slight little, a very slight, minute little back and forth play in this, which can be easily fixed. You can get yourself some talon grips, right? This one, I don't, okay, so you take some talon grips, you cut them up, you know, get your arts and crafts on, right? And then you can put it, like, right there, and you can, you know... Put it on to the mounted to the rail, and it will stop that um, that that motion, that little back and forth motion, right? It's very sturdy, verti uh, vertically, but horizontally, it will eliminate that. Yeah, for my individuals with longer fingers, right? What you can do is go the next plate up, nineteen thirteen four. That would help you uh, extend the. Uh, to let out a little bit, a little bit farther out, and uh, you know, make it more comfortable. That's why I like this streamlight. Like you can adjust it in how you you know whatever you need it. You know, as far as comfort. I believe I got everything. Ah, the stipple job, right? Let's go back to that. I am um, Talon Grips do make a uh, a stipple grip for this, so you can order them on. Uh, the website at talongrips.com and it's like 25 bucks or I can go to my local gunsmith and get this all stippled I may I may do that I may go to my gunsmith and have him stip laser, laser stipple it you can um get your slide milled I mean I did found a um, a, a milling uh, shop online but um I personally wouldn't send it to anybody. I prefer my optic cuts coming from the factory. But I feel like I have to mention that because, you know, if you have this model and you wanted to get the, you know, optic cut, there is a way. And I believe, I'm not going to say what the website is, but it's it's fairly inexpensive. It's like a, probably 100, I want to say 140 bucks 
to get it done. But I'll probably, you know what? I'll probably link it down in the, you know, descriptions below. I just don't like to get recommend somebody get, a, you know, a uh, their slide chopped up and then uh, come back and become inoperable, right? So I don't want to get blamed for that. Oh, real quick. This is kind of like a little uh, little tip, right? If you got if you're an individual with a large belt buckle and you get a lot of marring, like I got a lot of marring in my slide, right? You can get this uh, this alute this birch. Let's see if you can see this birch wood cases, aluminum black. This will uh, blacken blacken out in a matte finish and it will blend it into your slide. So I got a little bit of slide here. Okay, so I got a little bit of marring here. Let's see. I'll just take this real quick. Boom. And it it, it doesn't, it, it just smooths, for some reason it just reacts to the, to the silver, to the uh, marring, and then it colors it in like a matte finish. Uh, I, Recommend this 100%. Birchwood Casey's Aluminum Black. Now, do not get this one. Do not get this one. This is their Super Black. This, this is what happens when you put the Super Black right on. Right. So if you can see it right here. Okay. This right here looks like Venom is taking over my weapon. This little, it's not, that's not good. So do not get this. Get the aluminum black, okay? Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I have a holster for this, okay? You, <laughs> this was I, I stumbled upon this pleasant surprise on an accident. Yes, you can carry your firearm with your favorite light in this holster, okay? Look at the trigger guard. Add a quick coverage on the tr tr trigger guard. Your mag button is protected, even though this the mag button is already recessed on this uh, Mossberg. Look at the side channel. Okay. If you want a review of what this is and where I got it and how this came to be, I'll probably do one next week. Okay. But it can be done. Okay, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review. You guys stay safe out there and carry on.